Hi, this is Sam. Welcome to my Dreamweaver tutorials. I'm here. I'm going to walk you through the fluid um, grid layout um, example, and I'm, I may have to skip if a lot more things um, so you can process them yourself, and I'll point them out to you when it's time. Uh, but just to let you know, uh, this is roughly about what we're going to create. So um, here we have the Sam University, so that's going to go on one row. Uh, we'll have our navigation somewhere here. We'll also go on one row. And then we'll have the banner also on one row. We'll have these icons on one row. And these will be in four different columns. Um, and so um, largely this is the look we are after. So let's get started. I am going into straight into Dreamweaver. And to start with, I'll go to File. And I can choose New Fluid Grid Layout here. So when I do, it's going to ask me to set a few um, a few of the uh, um, settings down here. And this is the last setting. So I'm going for 6, 8, and 12. Um, first, I'll go also for doc type HTML5, and it's asking me to create a file. I'll click on Create. And I am going to place this somewhere because I have already created one of this. I'll just create a new folder and um, call it Sam and click on create and that's a css folder so i'll call it uh sam uni so sam underscore uni okay and i'll click on save so you need a folder to keep that stuff in there now this file has been created uh the css styles is created and but the html file itself is not saved you see that from here so we want to save that before we go ahead file save us and i'm going to save this within the sam folder i created okay and i would go and call this let's say um layout so you can call it fluid layout okay uh, so fluid underscore layout all right, so I'll, it says it's going to copy this file and save it in some location. And yes, I want to, I'm happy about that. So I'll click on save. So here we have the different displays and that displays, that shows down here. So we have the mobile, the tablet and the um, desktop. It tells us that some of them are not visited, especially these two. Okay, so I'll go into the um, desktop um, setting. Uh, but before we go ahead, I intend my maximum width of the page to be 980. So I'll go into the um, Sam Uni CSS. And down here, you'd find some comments in this section. So we are looking for the desktop option. Okay, so then we have the mobile, we have the layout, and desktop is down here. Okay, so it tells us with the comment that this is the maximum value. Um, I want that to be 980, but what I have just changed is just a comment, so it doesn't make that much difference. So I need to go and change the max width itself here to 980. Okay, so with this, we know it's going to work with our settings that we have. Um, I'll get back to design view. Now, to start with, we have this uh, div which is created. When I click in and I come down here to my tag selector, you see that there are two main divs apart from the body tag. We have two divs. And I'll click in here to the uh, on, on this button to make sure that it's selected. And I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so now I have deleted that I'm left with just one div, which is the clear fix div. Um, with my cursor right in there, I'm going to insert the logo. That's the one that logo will go. The second one will be the nav. The third one will be the banner. Okay, so I'll go and insert a new fluid grid so i'll go and click on this button and i'll call this logo all right i want that to be on a new row so that's fine uh to be able to have the whole thing the second one selected i'll click in click on the div type logo to make sure that it's selected and i'm going to go and click on insert fluid grid again and this one i'm going to call the nav so that will be the navigation i want to start a new row so i'll click on ok I'll click in the nav, click on div um, nav to have it selected. I'll go and click on the fluid grid 
and here I want to call this banner so banner and probably I have me ends there start on a new row and I'll have that so we have these three the next one will be the icon and then we come to the other category here which will be courses so I'll click in side that select from the tag selector okay to have that selected make sure you have the particular so I'm clicking on the banner so that's selected and I'm going to insert um, a, a div and this we would call icons okay so icons and icons will take their own row so that's fine the next one I'm going to insert will be four of them they are going to be for courses so this I'll click inside that have this selected icon selected and I'm going to insert a new div so I'll click on that um, this time there's also going on a new row so I'm going to call this uh, icon one okay and I'll click on OK now I'll click inside icon one and have it selected so the process is quite uh, repetitive and with it selected I'll go and click on insert fluid grid all right and I'll give it icon 2 name icon 2 this time I want this to not to start a new row but to join the other one at the top so I'll click on OK um, so realize that this is sort of kind of it got this yellow um, um, outline I'll click on the icon 1 and resize that so we are going to keep to four so each of them will take three rows all right and i'll resize the icon two all right so that fits in there i'll click in have that selected using the tag selector and i'm going to insert the fluid grid and here i go icon three and this is going to join it so click on ok I'll click inside and resize this to three rows and that moves up there have it selected click on the name to make sure that selected insert your your fluid grid and I'll call this icon four all right so this is going to join up so we click on OK we want to resize that and drag this until that is resized all right so we have that fitting quite perfectly in that spot um the next ones i'm going to place will be one two three um this so i'm going to put all this in one category okay so within one div one fluid grid and then i'll put these two also in another fluid grid so i need two on this side here um, so have this selected the last one selected click on the name to make sure that selected uh, you go to fluid grid and I'm going to go um, for those we call them events so I'll call this events okay and that's going to start a new row yes we want it to um, we're going to have the next that's this section will be uh, for the professors so I'll, I'll just create another one and call it just profs um, or featured let me use the word featured so I'll click inside to have that selected uh, to click on it click on the events and I'm going to go and insert a new fluid and let me call this um, featured okay so featured and that is going to join the one um, at the top that's the event so I'll click on OK um, just to resize that I need this to fill half of that space and I need that to also join just half of that space okay so that moves up there and um everything seems to be working quite okay all right um now let me go for the next one which will be student highlight after which we have the uh footer so i'll click to select in here i'll click on featured down here and i'm going to insert a div so um i'll say i'll call this student highlight okay all right student highlight 
I want that to start a new rule, so I'll click on OK. Um, I'll click that, have that selected. And I'm going to insert a new one. This time will be footer. So footer and start a new rule. Okay, so we are done with that. Uh, from this point on, I am going to insert the content. So I'll do one and then by way of video magic, um, you would join me when I finish placing all of my content in. So let's say where we have the uh, logo, that's I'm just going to type uh, Sam's Sam's Uni. Okay, so uh, if you have a logo, you can insert it. And where we have the nav, I'm going to go in here with the file I provided to you, content.html. You can come in here and copy or you can type your own text. Okay, so I'll just copy this text here and come back into Fluid and I'm going to I guess paste that. Okay, so where we have banner, um, I'm going to get rid of the text and um, insert the banner image. So I'll go into Assets. Um, I called that image. Uh, video magic I would get to um, the content all filled in with you and we would continue from there so 